Hello everyone, my name is Felicia Gariello and I'm the Air Quality and Fire Weather Program Coordinator. In today's presentation, I'd like to give you an overview of the Weather Program Office's Air Quality and Fire Weather Program and its role in the support of air quality and fire weather research. I am part of a two-person team managing this program. Working alongside me is Jordan Dale, the Air Quality and Fire Weather Program Manager. Together, we work to competitively fund NOAA laboratories, academic partners, and commercial industry through grants and cooperative agreements. The projects we fund test and demonstrate new cutting edge forecast capabilities with the goal of transitioning to the National Weather Service air quality and fire weather operations. Jordan and I work to fund projects that support the mission of WPO. Air quality and fire weather each have their own set of priorities. Although these two subjects often overlap, they each have their own goals and missions when it comes to funding projects. Air quality projects focus on the development and evaluation of high resolution forecast capabilities, improved spatial and temporal estimates of emissions, exploration and quantification of the potential value of ensemble model approaches, post-processing and artificial intelligence to forecasting guidance, as well as improved model accuracy using data assimilation of remotely sensed products or in situ observations. Fire weather projects have a similar scope, focusing on forecast system verification and predictability, social science and decision and support services, subseasonal to seasonal forecasting, and development of components related to a next generation coupled wildfire weather united forecast system that leads to improved forecasts of fire behavior and smoke. This last priority will be showcased at the end of this presentation in one of our upcoming projects. Yearly funds from the U.S. Weather Research Program budget dictate the number of projects we're able to fund each year and the scope of those projects. We receive roughly $900,000 per year to support air quality research. As you can see from the graph, air quality funding has increased over the past few years allowing us to fund more external and internal collaborative research through competitive project selection. While air quality has a clear history, fire weather is relatively new in terms of WPO programs. Physical year 2022 was the first year we had a fire weather competition. We did not receive any funds for FY22 from USWRP. However, we were still able to fund five projects that submitted proposals to our competition. One project focused on fire behavior in the United Forecast System was funded through the Director's Fund, while the other four are being funded through the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. The total budget for these five projects is around $2.2 million. There is a clear demand for fire weather research as 36 proposals were submitted during our FY22 competition, which beat out the number of air quality proposals by 23. I would now like to highlight two FY22 projects that showcase the work being done that our program supports. The first is a project working to enhance the high resolution forecasting capabilities of the Rapid Refresh Forecast System Multiscale Air Quality Model System. This project is led by Yang Zhang at Northeastern University and Daniel Tong at George Mason University. They are working to address the need for an upgraded air quality forecast model to be used in the new United Forecast System, which NOAA is working on to streamline and unify the atmospheric forecast systems used in the National Weather Service. On the same note of improving the United Forecast System, our next project focuses on fire weather forecasting. This PI from NCAR is working on a project to incorporate a state of the science fire behavior model that will account for fire atmospheric feedback in the United Forecast System. Fires can affect the environment, damage structures, threaten lives, cause health issues, and usually involve high suppression costs. So being able to accurately forecast them is extremely important. The Air Quality and Fire Weather Program works to fund projects that align with WPO priorities and that will transition into operations and improve forecast quality. With the development of the United Forecast System, air quality and fire weather research is heavily focused on the development and enhancement of models to improve its forecast accuracy and quality. 
Thank you for taking the time to learn about WPO's air quality and fire weather program. We hope this presentation was informative and we look forward to answering any questions you may have at the live Q&A. Thank you.